Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see you um, in one of your older videos. You talked about if it wasn't for you, it would be none of the Rockefeller, the Empire. Do you still kind of feel that way, or do you kind of backed off that at this point? Nah, I stand by that, man. Okay, you know what I'm saying I stand by that. The foundation of it, you know, what I'm saying because if you listen to it, like the greatest album, the Reason No Doubt, man, um, that's my life. He, it, it wouldn't have had, it wouldn't be no story to that album. You know, what I'm saying to just, just him being around me gave him a story to tell. You know, what I'm saying. Um, so when you start talking about the Rockefeller, just starting there with the story and the bet, you know, what built it. Um, from from the street on, um, from the studio time, from being around from the very beginning, support like you know clothes and the jury. We we shared that. You know what I'm saying? I made sure you know all of the support that I was there. So without me, it, it wouldn't even be a Rockefeller. You know what I'm saying? You can't take that. You know what I'm saying? You can't take that. When he say East Trenton groom me. Mm-hmm. What would he be saying if it wasn't for me? You know what I'm saying? So I pretty much, you know, I stand by that. If it wasn't for me, it wouldn't be no Rockefeller. It wouldn't be no story to be told. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got to stand by it. Foundation. You know? So, yeah, I am still feel that way. I'm going to always feel that I'm a part of that, man. It doesn't matter how big it gets. You know? Uh, it's going to always resemble back to me. At what time? You can't take that, you know? Word. Mm-hmm. At what time period did you and Jay fall off? At what time period in Jay's career did you and him fall off? And and talk and, and run us through a little bit of how that went down. Um, I don't know. Things started to go away once. Hmm. Um, our groups wasn't getting along pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Jay Jay kept his his. his some people around him that was in the music industry and it just, just didn't mix with a lot of people that I was I was affiliating with myself with. So sooner or later, it just started clashing, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of egos, a lot of outside stuff that was going on behind the scenes and um, betrayal, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, niggas started getting greedy, and, you know what I'm saying? And once that started happening amongst a bunch of groupers in this business, it just started getting ugly. Um, I never thought that me and his relationship would be tainted, you know what I'm saying? But it just seemed like you know, um, a lack of respect when I started seeing it growing that I didn't appreciate. You know, what I mean, as far as even the extending the love back to me for all that I brought to the game. When you start feeling like people ain't treating you the way that you had treated them all along, you can start seeing the different person. Um, you know, and just things start leading to another, and one thing's you know lead to another, and people start disrespect. Four nine and five things started going around when he started. You know, he was in VA. You know, he had his own team, and we still was good. But it's just so much stuff going on, and I end up getting locked up. And like I said, this is why they got to see the documentary, because mm-hmm. um, I end up locked, getting locked up, and not, you know, uh, at a, po- a point in time. And at that point in time, Jay Jay started to do other things outside himself. You know, what I'm saying, started to take things on upon himself to uh, start doing without, you know, what I'm saying, no guidance or no, you know without, you know, going outside the rules and one thing led to another. And, you know, um, it put me in a bad situation with some of the choices he made when I was locked up. Um, as you see on the documentary, um, we get to that. And um, some people who think that, you know, that might be the reason. But, you know, for every, you know, for every uh, choice is a consequence. You know what I'm saying? And he made a choice to do something that put himself in a situation, or well, at least at least he think himself. He, he made it. 
of situation to me almost trying to be in the middle of it. So, you know, um, like I said, you got to look at the documentary to try to understand it. But that's when things just started going away. Um, we never, ever had a chance to really ever sit down and be like, yo, you know, this is what this, this is what that. Before all of this, like I could have said, it could have been a time when we could have sat down, but it was just so much outside stuff going on. And I ain't no ass kissing type of person. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I reach out, and, you know, I didn't feel like if I reach out, I reach out and I ain't getting no response. It's sort of like you're giving me your ass to kiss. So I never really pursued it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm always, you know, I was, I'm always getting my money. You know what I'm saying? That's never been a problem when you're going out here getting my bread. You know, so one thing led to another, and that's what, you know, we just started beefing. Um, as you can see on records, you know, how it changes from, you know, one thing is all love and it's, 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 it's love and peace. And the next thing you know, it boils out to I'm a snitch. Mm -hmm. So, you know, pretty much you can understand in between there, like something went wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and it just, uh, it's still been going on since, man, you know, between us. It's, it's nothing major. We something we could have been, got passed. But at the end of the day, man, like, I'm happy with we uh, where we at now, especially since I see what, you know, how they carry it over there. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's why this whole documentary is, is, is open with it, because I realize that I, I don't belong over there. You know? It's not for me. You know, there's no rules. There's no, no guidelines. There's nothing over there. And he kind of might save me from not even responding or coming to see, you know, whatever. I just see things from a different perspective, and I'm glad I went this route. I'm glad it happened this route. You know, it was intended for this to happen. But far as them, you know what I'm saying, making me look like I'm the bad person, as far as them trying to write me out of the history of the Rockefeller, of anything that, that can't be done. That can't be done. It just seemed like a conspiracy, you know what I mean? That's what, you know, that's what the shadiness is. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed like a conspiracy when you start really doing the research and how they try to really just narrow, you know, write me out of the script. And, and you know, and that just raises this question. It's just what it is. Right. Now, that whole accusation that came about Jay-Z, we all know the verse that came out where he said, you know, F the haven for caving. That's why we don't speak. Made, made many supposed to make statements. Now, this stems from the case that you, and correct me if I'm wrong, was on with Emory Jones, who was another friend of Jay-Z, um, and pretty much, you know, him getting fed time and you not getting any time at all. Is this where the whole snitch allegation stemmed from? Because at one point you said that the streets, word on the street that it was a snitch. Can you speak on that? Yeah. Um, um, me, myself, per se, I don't really think that he was talking about any fed case or any type of, you know, snitching towards the police. I think he was um, speaking on, the, you know, our situation. You know what I'm saying? It, it may, but the way he carried it, you know what I'm saying, indirectly was more dangerous because, you know, people don't know. You know how these streets is. So they just hear, you know, caving and, 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 and snitch like that. You know what I mean? They run with it. But it should have just been obvious that he was talking about the YouTube because one of his main partners is, you know, one of his main people, Emery, is my co-defendant. You know what I'm saying? Um, he could have easily, you know, said, yo, this man is not no snitch. This man, you know, he not talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Instead, you know, he was on hush time. So right then and there, you know what I'm saying, that's a violation. You know, just to say that, you know, for him not to step up with the relationship me and Emery had, to be like, yo, man, you know, he ain't talking about that, you know, about, you know, as far as, you know, whatever. It's real dangerous and, and, and man. You know, you broke up a little bit. 